Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents. Our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Today's video is a mini haul I did from the house of Michael Malol. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, I got a bunch of travels and I purchased a bottle and I had a very terrible customer service experience. So let's jump right into it. First things first, I do want to talk about my newest addition from the House of Dossier. This is an inspiration house that now also makes their own fragrances. So if you want to watch your budget, if you're on a budget, or if you just don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on niche and high-end designer fragrances, go and check Dossier out. They're even sold in Walmart on walmart.com as well as Dossier.co. You can get all kinds of designer and niche fragrances for a fraction of the cost. I talk about them all the time. You know, I have a partnership with them. They send me over fragrances and sometimes I still purchase them on my own um, when I'm in between them sending me fragrances, especially for the ones I'm going to keep. I do give a lot of the ones they send me away because they're ones I already own the originals of. So there's no need for me to keep them, but top quality. And for me, in some instances, not all, but in quite a few, I prefer their version. Today is no different. This is Ambery Vanilla. Someone that I used to work with always wears black opium. And when I wore this fragrance, she thought I had a flanker on or something new, something so outstanding. And I was like, no, this is literally an inspiration of the one you wear every day, your signature scent. And I'm telling you guys, I love the sleek packaging. You know, I love that minimalistic look, just like a Byredo, just like a commodity. Um, I love the magnetic top because it's, it's fun. Like, it's the kidding me. I, I don't care. I'm not making any excuses for the fact that I love a magnetic top, but I prefer Ambery Vanilla over Black Opium. I've said this before. I've gotten rid of all of my Black Opium uh, flankers except for La Parfum and Illicit Green. This tones down the obnoxious white florals that I can't get past in the original. That's what the problem is for me. It's the white florals. So I will always choose Dossier's Ambery Vanilla over the original Black Opium. Let's go ahead and start with the full bottle that I purchased. So this is Rose and Honey. Now I made a mistake with this fragrance and the fact that I purchased it without anybody from my Holy Grail team talking about this. I, I, don't, I didn't come across any video with someone that I follow that I love talking about this. I saw a bunch of random people who I know about, um, YouTubers who were sent this in PR and um, they raved about it. So I said, you know what? This is the one that I'll get. I know better than that. I've told you guys that when you are purchasing, only trust them if you're going to do a blind buy. Can you see this? That's a beautiful mister. Wow. Um, it smells, it just reminds me of Delina in that first opening, less tart. It really does like that vibe. And then there's like this greenness that comes in. And the notes in this, um, I, I actually have them pulled up. So it says strawberry Mara, tangerine, peach skin in the top. Then it says the mid notes are rose petals, cashmere, honey. And then in the base notes, it says vetiver. I think it means Haitian vetiver, but it says vetiver Haiti. I don't, I've never seen it. Just Haitian vetiver. Amber, musk, white, caramel. So I don't get any of those notes. I get, well, I get the rose petals. And rose and this really strong green. It's like the stems. Like somebody just crushed up a bunch of stems and then told you to smell their fingers. Like that's what I get. Um, I can say that I'm starting to like it a little bit more as it stays in the air. And I hated this up on first spray. On my skin, this is terrible. But like I told you, since COVID, a lot of things on my skin, this is why I don't wear, this is one of the reasons I don't wear fragrance directly on my skin. I am a clothes sprayer. 
but I am smelling through the notes that they want us to smell. And I get like to the chemical compound of the thing on a lot of fragrances now when I put them directly on my skin. This is a floral fragrance if ever there was one. It's not heady and headache inducing for me, but man, it's like just... If you own Delaney, you don't need this. If you own D&G's Lamparatrice, you don't need this. It's that type of vibe. A little bit more green to me. Um, I just don't know. I don't need this in my collection. But I am starting to really, really crave rose. And I could see me. It smells so much better on this stick than it smelled on my skin. So anyway, I'm going to play around with this a little bit more. I don't recommend purchasing this if you um, already have a bunch of rose fragrances in your collection. It's nothing new. It's nothing new to me right now. Give me some time. Even though we are in like 30 degree weather, I am going to wear this a couple of times on my clothes and come back and let you know how I feel. I do think this is better for spring, summer, of course. But um, I hated it upon first spray and I hate it on my skin so freaking much. But right now in the air, it's giving me Delena vibes. I already own Delena though, so why would I need it? So here's the thing. I wrote them an email and I said, hey, I don't care for this. I don't want it back. I've only sprayed four sprays. You cannot tell. Like I just sprayed an additional how many ever in front of y'all. You see how full it still is? So before I sprayed those, it was even more full. And I said, can I just exchange? Because I have some travels of yours and there are some things I really do like. I wouldn't mind having. I'm not asking for a refund. I can ship it back in myself if that's what I need to do. You know, or I don't know if I said that. In the email I did say I just wanted an exchange. But I would have been willing if they told me to ship it back myself. I would have been willing to. But they come back and they say, no, we don't do um, exchanges. But we will refund you and charge you a 30% restocking fee. Again, I'm going to show you what this bottle looks like, how full it is. 30% wear. But you know what? It pissed me off. I'm not going to lie because I think that's piss poor customer service. I think it's real janky. Um, you, I, I don't know if this is a relatively new line. I've never heard of them before, but to just be so... I don't know, unwilling to be nice to your customers. Like I just spent money with you hundreds you know with you over a hundred I think yeah in the two almost three hundred dollars with you and this is how you behave um you could have even said hey send it back to us we'll look at how much you use and then we'll let you know you know what I'm saying you could have just picked up a bottle of what I wanted sprayed four sprays out of it and sent me it. I don't care but anything better than the response that I got so because of their terrible deplorable um customer service I don't recommend this company. I'm going to still tell you about the other ones that I got and the ones that I like because I want you guys to make your own decision. But do the travels because if you get a bottle and you don't like it, they don't care. They want if this is I think this is like one hundred and twenty dollars. So you want to charge me 30 percent of one hundred and twenty. For four sprays, baby, you have never made a perfume that was worth that in your life. So terrible customer service. Two thumbs down from me. I just I, and I don't like that about companies. Even do it. I don't like the fact that they don't do refunds, although it is super easy to turn around and resell them on Macari or inside of the groups. I don't tr I don't I don't do you know, I don't I don't trust people like that, though. But a lot of people say the swapping and all that stuff works for them. But I just do not like these companies who don't give you the opportunity, especially when you're not even asking for a refund to exchange. But then again, I don't know how many people have played with them. You know, you have some consumers out here, some regular schmegular people who will literally decant a bottle or use half the bottle and then come back and say, oh, I don't like it. I want a refund. So that may be why they move like that. But I have never played in their faces. I've never done anybody like that. So I don't appreciate it being done to me. So um, but as I'm starting to smell this more in the air, it's way better than what it was on my skin. I'll tell you that. Next up, we're going to be talking about Citizen Jill which is the most talked about fragrance from them that I found. And I will tell you this from the atomizer. This smells really good. It's a very clean fragrance, but the dry down of this fragrance to me smells like an old 1980s soap. And it just, I don't like it. I don't like it in the base um, at all. So again, on my skin. So I'm going to give all of these full wears on clothes because yeah, so with Citizen Jill, 
the top notes, a bergamot, citron, citron, um, the Anjou pear. In the mid notes, there's poppy, jasmine, lily of the valley. And in the base notes, we have vetiver, musk, amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. So all of these things sound great, but I just, this does not pair well with my skin. Um, it smells so good here. I wish that's how it stayed um, throughout, even on the stick, because I also discovered after the rose and honey, I needed to do these on a stick as well as my skin because my skin was just picking up all chemicals and just like grossness from it, right? So Citizen Jill turns into this old 1980s soap um, and floral mix. It's just not for me. But the way that it smells from the atomizer and the way that it smells in the open in the mid and the air is fantastic. I just don't like what it ends up being in the base. So it doesn't work for me. The next one that we're going to talk about is called Bali. And this one isn't for me. And what I did was I sprayed the stick and put it back into the case with it. This is, you know, this is for somebody. It is. Um, it's not bad smelling at all. Here is the travel. So the notes for this, first of all, I love the top note. It says touch of bergamot. How freaking cute. Just want y'all to know we didn't put the whole thing in there just a touch, just a little bit, a tad bit, because, you know, I don't know. Now, if they said that with Neroli, I would understand it because Neroli scares people, but people tend to love bergamot. Anyway, cardamom and alimi in the top. The mid notes are sheer jasmine, sambac, lily, and suede. I love a suede note. And then the base notes are orris root, sandalwood, and musk. So I sprayed all of these before bed last night because when this opens up and when it dries down, it smells the same to me. This is a linear fragrance, but that's not a bad thing. This is unisex to me. I think a man could very easily pull this off, but it has a beautiful femininity to it. So this is nice, but it's just not my personality. I recommend trying that if those notes sound good to you. It's very relaxing. It's like a cool vibe or no, I should say a warm vibe because it definitely smells like a warm fragrance, beautiful for fall. But with me saturating the stick last night and as light as it smells, I feel like this is not going to be one that's good on longevity. Again, I will come back with a follow up video to all of these because I plan to play with them um, and then I'll be done with it. Again, I still don't like the customer service. So I will tell you this. Where are the two? I ended up getting two bottles from this house because I really liked them. In, in the process of me waiting for a response from them about the exchange, I found the, the perfumes on FragranceNet.com. And instead of being 110 or 120 or 140, they were 89 bucks. So that's where I got them from. I had already ordered them before I realized that, you know, they were going to come back and be sucky regarding customer service. So I'm going to go with Electric Heart. Look at this little packaging for the travel. Cute, cute. Um, did I show you Bali? Because I thought Bali was nice too. The way that this Bali box looks to me, honestly, is how it smells. Like the green, that's how it smells. But not green like stems, but just like being in Bali. Like just relaxing, very zen, very like meditative type of thing. Electric Heart is one. Oh, I love this. I, I'm not going to lie, I love this. It smells like something to me. Um, a lot of these fragrances smell very familiar to me. And I wonder if this is some type of dupe house because they remind me of things. But I really, really love Electric Heart. Oh, my goodness. Let me find the notes to Electric Heart because they are really this is a really nice fragrance. It's fruity, slightly floral. But in the best way, if you're a fruity floral person, you're going to love this. And um, I definitely want a bottle of it. I'm not going to lie. It's $140 on their website. I, I saw that Electric Heart was on some of the like FragranceX.com and Perfume.com, which I don't really shop that much with either one of them. But the notes weren't the same as what I'm seeing on here. So the notes on here are Mandarin, Peach, and Strawberry in the top. Then we have jasmine, pink pepper, freesia, lily of the valley in the mid. And the base notes are amber, musk, vanilla, sandalwood, moss, 
and caramelized sugar. Baby, baby, baby. I don't know if they reformulated it because those are not the notes I saw on the other websites. And the bottle isn't the same either. The um the the other bottle looks very old and, and outdated. So. So beautiful. This is the one that I was going to uh, exchange for. Uh, rose and honey. I do like this. I think it is phenomenal for spring. Maybe summer, but I don't know. You you might attract bees. It, it it just smells like real juicy fruits and not juicy fruit gum, like juicy fruits. Like if you're around strawberries and peaches and stuff like that, it just smells so good. And even though they have piss poor customer service, I think I might end up buying it from their website to be safe and make sure that I'm getting the one that I want. Um, because now I've tried it. Like it's I've done my consumer job of getting a travel or a tester first, which is a travel. Um, I'm just saying that because if you go to other websites and you can get a travel, a tester, decant, or a travel size, do that. I should have done that. I took the risk in blind buying myself, but I just be forgetting that sometimes, you know, there are companies with sucky customer service. So the next one is Bloom. Can y'all tell I'm irritated about him? <laughs> I'm over it. This... Okay, let me tell y'all something. Let me show you the packaging. Man, my sinuses are getting on my nerves. So here is Bloom. This reminds me of what was it called? Um, cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works. This definitely reminds me of that. Let's see what the notes are in Bloom because it is definitely giving crisp, cool uh, summer days. This is not one that is going to be so sweet that you end up in trouble with the bugs. I don't think that that's how this works at all. And actually, I had this is one I didn't want along with Bali. But I don't I don't know. I, I think I like this one because of the nostalgia of cucumber melon. So this one here, again, it's called Bloom. Um, in the top, it has notes of black currant or black currant, pear, raspberry, and apricot. The mid notes are rose, jasmine, lily, and peony. And then the base notes are amber, musk, and sandalwood. No cucumber anywhere, but I swear that's what it, it just reminds me of that. And I haven't smelled that in years. So I'm not saying it's a dupe for it at all. That is what it brought to my recollection, but... I like this. Very interesting indeed. So electric heart and bloom. I may still end up with. Even though I hate their customer service. Um, because I just like these. Like, I don't know if I can find bloom and electric heart and I didn't even look them. Well, no, I, I want the new notes on the electric heart and I want the new bottle. So I'm not doing what I saw on the gray sites, but yeah, I think Bloom might have to be added to the list. We shall see. Next up, we're going to talk about the one that blew me away instantly. And I was like, I need it. I need it right now. This is called Joy de Vi, or maybe it's Ve. I don't know. Um, blush. So I wasn't playing games, y'all. When I said I wanted it, I ended up getting the full bottle. So I'll show you the full bottle because I haven't sprayed it yet. This is the one I got from fragrancenet.com. This is what the bottle looks like. Very clear liquid juice, as we call it here. I almost put this bottle on the floor. No, ma'am. When they're new, I try to treat them nice and make sure they never touch the floor. So, opening up the travel and taking the stick out. That's it, that's it. It's, there is something about this that just pleases me. As a woman, when I smell this, it pleases me. And sometimes that's all I got. I want to smell like this. It, it could be that simple. It doesn't have to be about all of the notes. It doesn't have to be about a scent memory being attached. Sometimes you just smell something. It smells good. You want to smell like that. And that's what you do. Sometimes it's that simple. The notes in here in the top, pink pepper, crisp pear, strawberry leaves, mid notes, rose, jasmine petals, honeysuckle. I love 
honeysuckle. I say that all the time. I don't see it that often in fragrances, but when I do, I tend to really like that fragrance. Um, base notes, vetiver, cedar, and cashmere musk. So what does that say? Rose damascena? Okay, that's what it was. That's why I paused in the mid. So the mid is rose damascena, jasmine petals, and honeysuckle. And then the base notes are vetiver, cedar, cashmere, and musk. Mm, cashmere musk. This does it for me. Butchering the notes and all, it, it does it for me. Uh, I want to smell like this every day of spring. To me, Joy de Ve or Joy de Vi, I'm sure some um, enunciation uh, language experts are going to come in my comments and tell me all about how to pronounce it. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But this version blush i don't know if there's another version that's why they call it blush or if this is a part of the name but that is the one i had to have immediately now the other one that i had to have is called candy oh the stick fell out yes candy you know what if anybody has tried candy from this house could you please 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 jump in the comments and tell me what it smells like this is just a beautiful vanilla, but it smells like I feel like I've smelled this vanilla seven or eight times, like in something. It is a smooth vanilla. Like, I don't even know what else to say. So I love the packaging for the travel. Um, the top notes are sheer citrus and quince or quince. We all know that. Um, the mid notes, jasmine, rose and freesia. I love Freesia. And then the base notes, amber, vanilla, musk, and mosswood. Where is my full bottle? The full bottle. Just a bigger version of the travel. And look at this bottle, though. I do like these bottles better than the others. They're pretty. It's really pretty. And, baby, these bottles are weighted. Baby, this is glass glass. Like, yeah, you hit somebody with these, they're going to have a problem. So... And then you'll be out, yo. God, yeah, this, let me, let me tell you something. This smells good. If you like, it's a very simplistic vanilla. You're going to smell great. Um, again, when I first smelled it, I didn't want it because I said it's so familiar. But then I'm like, it's fall. I'm about to go through one, two, maybe even three vanillas. Let's just go ahead and add another one to the collection. Who is it going to hurt? Nobody. <laughs> Thanks for spending this time with me today. If you're not already subscribed, please do select that notification bell. Share me across your social media platforms. Hit the like button. All that beautiful stuff. I will be back with more videos as I have been uploading at least once a week, I believe, lately. Um, yeah, you know, just getting back in the swing of things. I got a lot coming. I say I got to talk to you guys about my favorite fall fragrances I got coming up. Also, I got to do the vanillas. And I am doing my duas. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full bottles of duas in here. And like one, two, look, I'm not even for the try to count, like seven or eight travels. Baby, it's some good stuff in here. All that's coming. It's coming. Be patient with me. So again, make sure that you've selected that notification bell so that when I upload, you are aware. And if you haven't checked out this video up here, please go and check it out because I have over 9,000 subscribers and I don't even think I've reached 400 views on that one. Now, I did upload it late in the evening, so maybe the algorithm didn't pick it up, didn't tell you guys. But if you had the notification bell selected, you would know. But I'm comparing the paradoxes against each other, um, Donna Born and Roma versus the Intense and the Good Elixir or Good Fortune versus Good Fortune Elixir from Victor and Roth. Also, I'm actually showing you guys the other four full bottles I got rid of in empties. I don't think I marked empties on the thumbnail, but they're there and they're gone. And I'm sad because I miss them already. But check that video out for me, please. I'll also have it at the end of the video. So I love talking to you guys in the comments. And until then, bye.